it is your girl Glitter Mama here and today I am going to be showing you guys my candles. Um, before we get started I want to kind of let you know that they are $15. They will be launched on January 1st. Um, so um, I'm thinking about at midnight or somewhere close to it. If I'm up, if not it'll be later on like as early as possible um, when I launch my candles. But they are $15 plus whatever the shipping is, and is which um, all that information will be uh, covered when you purchase your candle. Now, they are four ounce jars. I'm going to show you what they look like here in a minute. Um, I do have two that are already up on my my shop so you can purchase those. Those are like the Christmas candles that I had. So um, they're going to be up until... Uh, they're going to be up until they sell out um, or until I finish. Like, I think I might just make more candles of those. And then once I'm out of the the candle um, fragrance, then they will be completely sold out at that point. But if you see any candle that you like and they are sold out, you just can message me and let me know that, hey, you're interested. And then I'll make more and then post it up on the site and then go from there, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to go with the first two candles, which are my Christmas candles, and they look like this. Um, the first one is called Christmas Eve, and, um, it smells very piney, meets citrus, meets cinnamon, so it's like, kind of like if you would walk into somebody's home during Christmas time, um, and, like, they had an actual real tree, and they had, like, a, uh, let's say a cinnamon candle burning, and then they had, like, I don't know, they were eating oranges, like, five minutes before you walked into the door. I mean, that's the only, that's the only explanation I guess I can, like, explain this, because it smells so good, and, I mean, it literally smells like, like, really, like, real Christmassy, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? This is something that, like, if you don't like really sweet scents, these are, this is a better option to go for because, um, <clears throat> I know a lot of like Christmas candles are like sugar cookie or eggnog or any kind of sweet type scent. And this one's not, this one's just very piney, citrusy, sort of cinnamony. You know what I mean? I can't really explain like what the overall like scent is. I wouldn't say it's earthy because... I mean, you could probably say it's earthy, but not really, like, dirty earthy, if that makes sense. It's more of a clean, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you got into somebody's car and they had a pine air freshener, that would be what this would smell like in a way. You know what I mean? And then secondly, this is the Sugar Plum Fairy one. This one's kind of a bluish purple. I try to make it as blue purple as possible because I have a purple one that's, like, really dark. Um, <clears throat> but, um... This one is very sweet, but at the same time, it's very, like, a berry scent. Like, that's the only thing I can explain it. Like, if you have ever had that scent from Bath & Body Works, um, the purple one that comes out every year for Christmas, this one smells just like it. Um, that's the only best explanation I can say. It's just a sugar plum scented candle. It is, these two are just one, one whole scented candle. It's not like double scented or, you know, there's multiple scents in here. It's just one scent. Well, I mean, there's double scents all together, but like I didn't split them up into two layers or anything like that. I think besides one more, the, um, most of them are multi-layered, um, that I have so far. Um, <clears throat> I tried to split it up to where there was like multiple, like, you know, like half would be one light, half would be one scent and others would be like multiple scents. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but anyway, this is really <coughs> good. I think this is a really good candle for all year though. Not just around Christmas. Um, so if, if you are down and you like really, this is a very sweet, like, like very sweet candle. Like it is a lot of people don't like sweet candles. A lot of people don't like more muskier scents so I tried to do a little variety for everyone and these scents are something that like I would literally burn in my house so just saying so let's get into the candles that I will always have all year long um and so let's just the first one that I created before I even made any of my candles I had this idea in my head was called the Griffith which this is um just to pay homage to my family you know this is a 
the the yellow is French vanilla and the black is lavender. A lot of people are like, why did you do that? Like, why did you do the colors like that? This is the color of our our um our shield is black and gold. Um, if you know anything about like the Irish shields or the Scottish shields, you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, but these were the colors that were in our shield, so I ended up um doing that. Um, it's, uh, the first layer is obviously French vanilla. I wanted to keep the lighter scent on top. That way the, the, you know, the more heavier scent wouldn't be so overwhelming with the lighter scent when it got down to those two scents, you know what I'm saying? But it smells really good. The lavender even smells really good. You can, you can smell a little bit of the lavender coming through, but you can you, you more or less smell more of the, that French vanilla at first. But once it gets kind of down to like here, you know, you're definitely going to have the mixture of the two, which I really, 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 really like. Um, <clears throat> I might just do, um, this one's, this one's kind of optional for me, but I might do like a lavender vanilla, like all in one scent down the road, but I'm not really hundred percent sure if I am, but these are just the two split up if that makes sense. So <clears throat> Then the next one I'm really proud of too as well. This is Maleficent's Blood. Um, this one smells very amber meets like earth, you know, like very earthy scent. Um, this one is um, obviously plays homage to my favorite um, female Disney villain, which is Maleficent. Um, now, I would say the smell, like if you've ever been into like a smoke shop, like or like one of those places that sells like a lot of like incense that's what it really smells like like we have a shop here in my local town called the Op octopus garden and this exactly this smells exactly like that um it smells so good though like i mean if you are it, it has sort of like a musky scent to it as well um but i can definitely smell amber in it like a lot of it um and and um this kind of what's that smell called dragon's blood is that what it's called that's what it smells like if you know exactly what dragon's blood smells like this is what this smells like so and that's probably that's the reason i um i uh named it maleficent's blood because you know she turns into the dragon and we all know the rest of the story if you've seen it so next what can what you know can candle collection of mine would be complete without paying homage to Miss Harley Quinn and I have called a candle called Harley. Um this is actually pay is um you know the colors of her hair. Um I tried to get it as close to her hair color as possible, but it was a little bit hard when the the actual wax finally um finally like cooled down it kind of lightened up so i was kind of bummed about that but that's okay right i mean um but the um the bottom is bubble gum which the bubble gum is very very strong so that's why it's on the bottom and then the top layer is um like uh like uh blah, 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 like cotton candy i'm sorry i can't speak today and of course her hair i had to do that um, but if you know, she chewed bubble gum in the movie. So that's why the pink is bubble gum. And then I thought what would go good with it. And I just picked cotton candy. So it's kind of a cute girly sweet scent. So if you like that sort of thing, then it's for you, boo. And then lastly, my birthday is January 7th. So like this candle will be up before my birthday. So, and I also wanted to kind of have this candle for it and that is it's my birthday and I wanted it to smell like a cake and ice cream like literally that's what I wanted to smell like because I think like at least one time in your life you have been to a birthday party or just to a person's house like celebrating their birthday and they have cake and ice cream there like it's just like something that like everybody like pairs with I mean in my family we do it all the time um so I did vanilla ice cream on the bottom this is a three layer I have birthday cake in the middle and if you can see there are sparkles in with it and then the top is butter cream frosting okay so i want to show you what the top is about i know right i mean what can i had to have at least one candle with glitter in it and look at the candle that i decided because i thought it would be very fun i thought about sprinkles at first but then i thought no let's just do 
glitter because sprinkles. I was kind of nervous about mixing food in with this and drawing all kinds of critters. But um, I think that it's so pretty. I mixed blue, purple, and I believe black glitter in there, but you can't really see the black as well. I mean, you can see it a little bit, you know, when the light hits certain spots. But I really really love this candle it smells so, so i mean like it's a really sweet sweet candle if you're not about that it to me this is a candle that i would like keep around in the kitchen um but uh but it makes it like makes your house smell like you're baking or something like that's the only like explanation i can say for for that um but i but I recommend this for, it's a really good like birthday gift for anybody who is having a birthday around the corner. Um, perfect, like, you know, birthday gift or any type of like, you know, holiday gift, you know, that you can think of. Right. Um, I also have tea light candles, but I don't have them on me right now. Um, I actually left them at my work. So, um, I am selling the tea light candles. I have, let's say I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten for $5 if you are interested in those as well. What they are are all of my scents, but each scent from each candle, if that makes sense. So, there are ten of those, and they're ten for $5. So, that's 50 cents a piece. I figured, why not? They're scented as well, and they're amazing like on their own the scents and you can actually if you're not really sure if you want to buy like a candle um and you just want to buy like the little tea lights just to kind of sample them out and see how you like them that's a really good way to go about doing it um if you are interested in it just definitely comment down below let me know that you are down for that that you want you know to order you know those um I don't have it on my site. Um, I'm, I'm probably not going to put it on my site just mainly because I will probably have, um, cause I just don't, I'm not, I don't think about it. I mean, like you could just ask if you can, if I can send you some and you know, all you have to do is just pay. Well, it, they're probably going to be $6. So I don't know if they're going to be five or six. Just when you order them, just let me know down you know, just let me know, you know, when you are making the purchase, you know, or just, you know, just ask me. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it, they'll be, be a uh, 10 for five. So, so yeah. So, um, I just wanted to let you know what kind of wax they have in them. Um, they're made with soy wax. So if you are nervous about it being any type of other kind of wax, don't worry. It's a natural wax. Um, the scents that I have are the fragrances that I put in here are actually fragrances that you would make soaps with. So, um, it's very safe for your skin. Like I had the oils all on my hands, didn't break out or anything like that. I've had the wax on my hands. It didn't burn me. Um, and, and so forth. So yeah, um, I'll have all the, i like I said, I'll have my Etsy shop down below. You can go check out the, the shop, um, and yeah and i hope that you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up don't forget on january 1st to check out these candles you know purchase away because like i said the more that you guys buy the more i can make if that makes sense and then you know the the more candles uh, like the more different kinds of candles i can make in the future for you guys so um, February or, well, and I'm going to be starting my Valentine's day candles. I'm going to have, um, three, three set candles. Like I'm going to have two separate three set candles that are going to be on sale then, or you can buy them separately if you want. Um, and one's called the threesome and one's going to be a 50 shades of gray, um, sort of combination. So, um, I will definitely do a video for you guys on those scents as well. So if you guys, um, if you guys want me to, of course. Um, but if not, they'll definitely be on my, um, site as soon as I make all six of them. Um, I will have like the set together. I think I'm going to sell the set of, uh, or each set, you know, the, of the three sets for $25. Um, but I'm not really hundred percent sure yet. So, We'll see on that. So, um, but you'll know more information about that when the time arises okay, or when the time comes. And I'll try to do a video or update video on my candles every so often so you guys can, 
you know, see the progress and um, also go from there. But I'm very proud of these candles. I hope that you are um, I hope that, um, you guys end up purchasing them all. Maybe hopefully sell me out so that I can quickly, spastically hurry up and make more for you guys. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and remember whether you're dressed up, dressed down, you're beautiful. Bye.